All right, YouTube, another video for you today. We're looking at some 511 shorts here. The Defender, nope, those are the pants. These are the Vapor Lights, I believe. Vapor Light short in the stone color. So these are a new product from 511 this year. They've got some really good new stuff out. I like that they're going more, they still have their tactical stuff. They're offering more Grayman style um, products without, you know, discontinuing their other stuff. So they got kind of something for everyone, so. I'm just trying to adjust my camera. It seems like it's a little off. Kilter here. There we go. Keeps doing that. Alright, so why are we talking about shorts? Well, again, they're Grayman and they're designed for concealed carry, for, I feel like, for knife guys. And they're a little bit longer. Um, that's one thing I want to talk about. We'll measure it here in a second. Um, some of the shorts that are on the market are a little, a little short for some reason. I don't understand why. So, very um, breathable, lightweight soft material um the first impression there is that it's super soft it's made out of with their billion tags um 88 polyester 12 percent elastane so they're very they're polyester and they're very stretchy which is kind of the new deal these days but for you know for guys that wear these for like practical purposes and stuff that's what they want for me it's just comfort and the ability to have extra pockets but not look like tactical shorts so um, let's kind of talk about the pockets. So you've got your standard pockets up here in the front. They are reinforced on both pockets right here. Let's show that up close. So they have their knife reinforcement bonus there, big time bonus there. They have these two slit pockets in the front. Um, you can carry a spare mag in there. 17 round mag will go in there. Your phone will fit in there nicely. You could do a different knife. I mean, you got all kinds of possibilities there. You got two pockets there. Flip it around. You got your rear butt pockets, I guess we'll call them. They're not cut too, they're kind of at a slant, but not, you know, as bad as some of the other tactical pants. And they have a Velcro hook and loop um, closure here with some nice venting inside the pocket there. But above those, you have the magazine pockets, or you could use them for whatever, but you could also slip a magazine Glock mag in there, no problem. You could put an AR-15 mag in there if you're using these to train in and it's like really hot. Because these these are very lightweight and breathable, a lot more than the normal pants. All right, let's try an AK mag. Yeah, that'll even fit. In fact, you mind building a metal one of those because they're a little stretchy. So you can have extra magazines. You're not gonna typically walk around with an AK mag if you're training. But on an EDC type scenario, you would have a spare magazine on your support side and it'll easily carry that right in there. So you got big belt loops to, to accommodate a tactical belt. You've got some reinforcement here. Uh, the stitching and everything is nice. You can see it's pretty high quality stitching. It's all orange, kind of a highlight. You have a little 511 logo. Where'd that go? It's like right on the front of the short there. And then there's another rubber one right there on the front, so. Not too logoed out, which is nice. Again, for me, these are more Grayman. They don't look as tactical. I'll do, I'll roll some footage in here in a second of them um, on and how they kind of fit and stuff. But I want to talk about the inseam before I forget about it. So, these have a 11 inch inseam. Let's just go ahead and measure it. So they're a little bit longer, short, which is nice, but not 13, yep, 11 inch inseam. Uh, yep. 11 inches exactly but the length of them besides the inseam from just like your belt down just to give you an idea is about 20 and a half no just about 20 inches long um, as far as the shorts are concerned so if you're a taller guy these are going to be a little shorter on you but i'm five foot nine pretty average height and it's um perfect for me so here they are next to the tap lights i've had these for years um, different material altogether. It's more of that ripstop, but they just scream tactical shorts. I mean, they got cargo pockets everywhere. They got, um, I do like a lot of things about these shorts and you can see I've worn the heck out of them. They have this pocket here where you keep your knife. They have the reinforcement there for your knife. Um, the back you can see is a lot different. These have those, I'll just do one side so we can do a side by side comparison. Yeah, you just have that one pocket there plus your cargo. I really like the way that the, the other ones are laid out the vapor lights um, and again totally different material so not as durable I would say I mean they're gonna be durable but not probably not as much as this but these it's gonna be a lot more breathable 
and have a lot more maneuverability and stretchier. So kind of a trade-off. Um, for me, they're perfect. They're going to make great summer shorts. It gets real hot here sometimes. It's real hot, really. It gets really hot here in the summers, you know, up to 100 plus degrees. And having a pair of lighter weight shorts like that is amazing. They're just more comfortable. So here's a comparison. We'll go ahead and roll in the footage of the pants on and then we'll kind of wrap up the video. All right, so here are the Vaporlite shorts on the body. You can see that they do have a little bit longer length, which is nice. Um, just gonna give you an idea how they fit. Typical loadout, Glock, knife, flashlight, spare mag back here in that pocket. We'll go over those pockets in a second, but just kind of give you an idea of the length of them and everything, what they look like. They're super comfortable. Okay. So my only uh, thing I'd change is with this kind of fabric, it's not as stiff as cotton. And when you're carrying a, a sidearm, I carry about three or four o'clock, this kind of fabric tends to kind of buckle a little bit. You don't feel your gun sag because if you're wearing a proper belt, it's not going to happen. But you can feel it kind of almost bend. I would like to see some reinforcement points in those areas. I do not have that problem with the tack lights at all and they have that stretch right there and I think that really helps um, and it's just a little bit, little bit uh, more robust material but that's the only thing I changed is maybe reinforcement in those areas the condor um, pants have that cipher pants and I think that's a good feature so well other than that though these things are awesome um, my wife likes them that's a good plus she hates absolutely hates these kind of shorts she's not a huge cargo short fan she doesn't like the, um, the, this is going to sound funny, the way my butt looks in those because it sags and it does. If you don't have a booty, you don't have much of a butt and it, it almost looks like you're carrying a load. <laughs> and she's totally right. I didn't care because I like the, the fact that they didn't tear up for my knives, that they had the magazine pocket, all that stuff. So this is a good scenario. It's a win-win for both of us. So she likes them, got the wife seal of approval. If you have a, you want to always keep your, you know, a significant other happy, you know, so. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the video on the 511 Vapor Light shorts. Um, these run $59.99 from, directly from 511. I got them at the 511 store. They run true to size. I wrote 34, 30. Well, it doesn't matter the weight, the length. I wrote 34 waist. These are 34. They're perfect. Unlike the uh, pants, the Flex Light Defenders, that ran a little um, small, I had to get a size down. I guess it's running big. I don't really know how that works, but I had to go a size down on the pants on the shorts it's bought on so you should be able to just order your normal size and be good to go all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video